Bonsai, let's go. Come on. Let's go on the ferry. Bonsai was just found really, really skinny on the streets. Like you could see his ribs, you could see his hip bones. And I contacted the original shelter, but they didn't have any information other than he was a stray. Are you ready? Come on. Come on, let's go. For the first couple days, Bonsai was very, very quiet. And then about a week later, I realized that he also had kennel cough. So we started to kind of cough up this flummy stuff. And also his social skills aren't really there. So that's also a work in progress. Because he did live a portion of his time on the street. He was so anxious. So we took him on a lot of walks. Bonsai. And then he got attacked at the dog park like the second month that we got him. So for the first few months, I couldn't go beyond like the first two blocks in my home. So I slowly introduced him to dog parks. And then little by little, he started to kind of get a bigger range. So it took about six months for him to like really come out of his shell. And now he's playing and running around and interacting with other dogs. We took him to the beach, then he loved the water. And lately, when it's been like low tide, he'll go crazy over zoomies. Considering it's only been a year and a half since we had him. He's just very curious about exploring his environment. It forces me to be more motivated and a more responsible person. So I think just the biggest reward is just knowing that I'm responsible for this little creature. She barely knows how to walk. Yeah. 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 Really. <laughs> I was a volunteer at the Awesome Animal Center when they brought her around campus. And something told me, she's so little, you need to go back and help her. So I went to intake and did the process to start fostering her. It was really hard to keep her in good health during the first time of her life. She wasn't really taking the formula really well. She could barely walk. She would walk like two steps and then she would fall. So I decided I was gonna find her a home. <laughs> Whenever I was interviewing people, I just started feeling really sad. And when I was finally gonna leave her at a home, I was like, okay, well, this is goodbye. And I walked to the door and she ran after me and started crying. And that's when I knew I was like, I can't let you go. I'm going out tonight. I'll see you later. I would say we're definitely bonded. She likes to spend time with other people, but in the end, she always comes back to me. And that really helped her get better. So finally, she made it. She's almost human. Her personality, she gets really excited to get the zoomies. Surprisingly, after we come back from a run, she'll still go back and get the zoomies. I don't know where she gets all that energy, but I am exhausted. Who did that? Was it you? I have to be constantly moving with her, going on walks, going for a run, going on adventures. She loves people. She loves attention. Sometimes when we go out, she doesn't want to leave and she'll throw herself on the ground and then I have to wait because I can't pick her up anymore. Let's go home. She's a Velcro dog. Kiki completely changed my life. She makes me a better person. She makes me more active. When I look at her eyes, they're so expressive. I can tell when she's upset, when she's sad. She's definitely my companion and it's such a fun time. It's time to watch more.